Hi, everybody. This is Vicki. have a couple of messages. I'm going to do them on two separate videos. Today is August 9th. This one that I'm going to do first is a message the Lord gave me two days ago. So that would have been the 7th of August, 2021. And um, so I'm going to get right into it. And before, but before I do, please pray. Ask Father. It doesn't matter where you hear it. If somebody is bringing to you a teaching or a message or what, or a dream or a vision or anything and saying that it's from God or it's their understanding of what Father is saying or means in His Word or whatever, please take it to the Lord. We have stewardship. Each one of us does. We are responsible and we are accountable for taking the things we hear, read, see to Father and holding them, holding them up to the light of His Word, holding them up to Him and asking Him if it's Him, what we're hearing, if He is the one that's doing the talking or if the teaching is correct or if the vision was from Him or if the interpretation of the vision or the dream is from Him, all of it. We just need to be responsible because we are accountable before Him. So don't look at the messenger, please look at the message and take the message to God. Okay, this this first one on this video, this one is called, and it'll be the only one on this video, sorry, is uh, Set Your House in Order. And as I said, this was on August 7th. My people, set your house in order. Look around. What do you see? What remains to be done in your home? What needs to be removed, repaired, restored, replaced, or restocked? Do what you can now. Do not delay. Set your house in order. Do you have excess that you can share? Do you have wasted space in your home? Set your house in order. Stop spending money for that which does not profit. Stop wasting resources for that which does not, will not, and cannot satisfy. You must be strategic in your spending. You must learn to barter. You must open your arms wide and share the excess you do not need. Many of my people have been preparing for the famine in the land. That is wisdom. Many have dedicated their land and possessions to me for my purposes when the time comes. I will direct, I will lead, I will instruct, but you must be willing to obey. There will be times when you will be tempted to go against my instructions. That would be foolishness. No matter the cost, you must obey, no matter the cost. Take stock of all that you have. Use wisdom. Come to me and I will lead you every step along the way. Like my son Joseph in Egypt, I have called many to create a storehouse. Many have faithfully obeyed. Many have been concerned that their storehouses are too small. Many have been limited by their financial resources and have been unable to obtain much. But my hand has been leading and I am not limited by lack of money. Just as the prophet thought he alone was left, so it is I, that I have many faithful ones who have prepared and continue to do so even today. Many have no resources to be able to prepare for the days of famine in the land. To those children of mine, I say, draw close and trust me. I will lead you where I want you to go. Listen and obey. Am I not able to care for you? Am I not able to feed, to deliver, to heal, to protect? to clothe, to comfort, and to sustain you in every way. I say to you that I am able. Pray for those who have resources to use them wisely for preparation. Pray for hearts to be turned to me and for unity within marriages and families so that all labor together and no time is wasted nor resource lost. This is important, my people. I have plans and it is vital for my people to be unified in me. Humility is greatly needed now. If my people realize that I own everything and my people are my stewards here on earth, it will be much easier to let go and obey me. Hands must be open as I lead. Hearts must be willing to give, to share, and to help. Lives and the salvation of many will be at stake as my people choose to obey or disobey me. Choose wisely, my people. Choose wisely. There are keepers of the wells. There are keepers of the table. There are keepers of the gardens. There are keepers of the animals. There are keepers of the grain. 
There are keepers of the livestock. There are keepers of the home. There are keepers of the children. There are keepers of the words. Each keeper has a place. Each place will be made known, even as each keeper will be made known. I have put my light in my children. For those who remain in me, I have sent my spirit to be in and with you. I walk beside you and speak unto you those things I see fit to impart to you. If you are abiding, if you choose to abide in me, my wisdom will be with you. However, you must choose to abide. I will not give it to anyone simply because of a title. I will give it to those who abide. My wisdom is with me. When you abide, I am with you, and my wisdom is with you as well. Do not scoff at these words. Do not scoff at those who say words and prophesy the disasters that are at your door. Do not be a foolish virgin. Prepare your homes and fill your lamps with oil. Time is closing soon. And he had me sign that one, Almighty God. I always ask him how he wants me to sign things for him, you guys. Again, I say, please take this and every message to Father. Just take them to him. It's too easy for us to discount a message because we don't like the messenger. <laughs> or, But you know, God spoke through a, a donkey. He can talk through anybody. He can say whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he chooses to say it. So make sure that you stay focused on finding out if the message is from him. And if it is, ask him where he wants you to see where you fit into that message. And please share the messages if you do hear him. Don't share them if you don't hear him. That's fine. But if you do hear him, if he confirms his word to you, then I really encourage you to share them. Okay, I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to stop there and play a song. One of Chuck's songs. And pray. So let's go, let's do, um, sorry guys, I didn't know I was going to do this part. Okay, let me make sure my volume levels are decent on this. Hold on, I'm going to start that over. My voice is getting better. I'm getting better. Thank you guys so much for all the prayers. Okay, you ready? Let's pray. Oh. Father, thank you so much for this day. Every day is a gift. Every day is a blessing. We have days, Father God, that are so full of wonderful, joyful things, and then we have days that are really hard. It's your God, and you know what you're doing. And there's a scripture, Father, I want to read that. Hang on, you guys, I want to pull this verse up. <laughs> Someone sent this to me today and how perfect, how perfect it is. Oops. got a kitty pawing at me down here. I'm in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12 and verse 5. If you have raced with men on foot and they have worn you out, how can you compete with horses? If you stumble in safe country, how will you manage in the thickets by the Jordan? And yes, I'm going to take that out of context and apply it to us today. Father God, oh, Lord, thank you for this verse. Thank you for 
blessing us to know that it's important that as your people we learn how how to run this race without falling down and staying down. I know there are people that are thinking they don't have they don't have what they need, they can't fix what they have. People that are in in lack physically. But God, you always lead, you always have a plan. And it's just our responsibility to follow you and let you have the lead and to trust you. So for all of the ones who are concerned because they don't have what they need, there's not just famine in the land coming, there's famine in the land in many places around the world. And we know that, God. We also know you're preparing your people and having your people prepare to be a blessing in the lives of others. God, help us be humble enough, just even as you said, to be able to hear you and not just to do things for our own selves, but to be aware that there are others. There are so many others that have such great need. Some of us have little, and some of us have a lot. But God, truly, everything does belong to you, so help us open our hands when we have the ability to do that and to give and to share not selfishly, not keeping score about how much we gave or expecting anything in return, God, but just doing what you have done and what you told us to do, which is to freely give because we have freely received from you. So Father, we pray over all the homes that are being set in order, over all of the things that are being looked at and evaluated and given away. We just pray over everything, Father God. This whole earth belongs to you, and the things on it belong to you. You own the cattle on a thousand hills. Thank you, Father. Bless us to be wise stewards, generous in our giving, faithful in our love. We bless your name, Father God. We pray over all those precious people right now who are completely without food and water and shelter. Father God, when we look at it, it can be overwhelming to even consider. But you are not overwhelmed at all. I remember you telling me when I asked you about this years ago, because of what you showed me, I remember feeling completely overwhelmed and asking what I could do. I remember you telling me, love. So Father, I ask you to bless your people to truly love. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for all of the ones who have come. Thank you for their willingness to listen to see if your word comes through this channel. We bless your name. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Father, we pray for unity in marriages, in families. We pray for healing in lives. Have your way, God. Have your way in all of us. We ask you to bless us to want that more than we want anything else, for you to have your way. And Father, help us truly be a humble people. Thank you, Lord God, for all of these things. In the name of our Savior, the Word of God, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Well, you guys, like I said, if you hear Father in the messages, 
please share them. I know he's talking to his people. We love you guys. We will be back for morning sessions at uh, midnight. Until then, God bless you. Take care. We love you very much. Bye for now.